There's a particular thrill that comes with accomplishing something that is hard. We've spent the last several months, almost year, putting together specific technology just for this expedition. We've come out here to the middle of the Pacific to put our ideas to the test. And to be out here, seeing it work so well, feels really good. It is really rewarding to work with this team of scientists who've been pouring their knowledge into building these vehicles. So not only are these high technology, they also contain the intelligence of the scientists we're working with. We put them in the water and they execute algorithms and missions based on these scientists' thinking. Typically it's very difficult to basically operate multiple assets, especially in the open ocean. Our AUVs did over 1,000 nautical miles. Some of them operated for over 200 hours. We had operations where we had at least three AUVs in the water non-stop for approximately five days. I think that the most important thing there is to develop the capability to have a sustained presence in the ocean. The Falcor was collecting data, the wet lab was using the water coming in from the Falcor, the AUVs were measuring the water underneath and the UAV was measuring the water from above. And we sent them all in the same direction over the same part of the front and we collected all this data over a really wide area all at the same time. As biologists, uh, we are really dependent on this technology to understand at high resolution the distribution of ocean organisms. This is very important to identify the biological hotspots in the ocean uh, for future conservation efforts. Since the ocean is in constant change, we need these tools to collect data for a longer period so we can make informed decisions to better understand the ocean and the environment around it. We as engineers, we solve all types of problems, but without an application to our technology, it doesn't have much of an impact. What we're doing here, in collaboration with ocean scientists, is really rewarding because it does have an impact. I think it's essential for humankind to understand the big picture because in the end we are talking about the life support system for the Earth. <laughs>